Go. Hi guys, uh, I'm Jim. my name is Jamie with Perfect Spa. We're here on a rescue day. Uh, we have a few rescue shelter dogs that came in. Um, in, in really bad shape actually. The, the coat at least is in really bad shape. It's tangled up everywhere, matted everywhere. And she said that they, they actually tried to um, bathe him several times. They bathe him all the time actually. And that's a lot of the reason why you see a lot of this matting here. Because if you don't brush out the tangles and mats before, the, before you bathe them, when you wash them as they dry, the mats actually mat up tighter. Uh, first of all, it takes forever to soak um, because they're so tight. And then once it gets wet, it takes forever to dry. And as it dries, it dries tighter. So you never want to wash a dog especially with this type of coat, until you've brushed them out and combed them out. And now we have no other choice but to um, shave them down and start over. Because that's the only humane thing to do. Look on the ears. Matted everywhere here on the ears. You know, here on the muzzle as well, on the face. So everything is matted, the whole entire dog. And, you know, so we just, <laughs> we're gonna have to shave them down. And, you know, these mats are pulling on his skin, so it's making him feel uncomfortable. So we have to do the right thing and just start fresh. And we got a couple other dogs here that we're going to do, so uh, hopefully <laughs> we'll have a good day and share some good information. <laughs> That's it, right? Alright. Let's do it. Got to find the spot. You always want to pull on the skin, never the mat. So you may want to like see a mat, you might want to pull it so that you can get it un get the clipper blades under, but that's going to pull that skin right into the clipper blades. <clears throat> You'll end up cutting the dog. <clears throat> so you always want to pull the skin tight, never the mat, never the hair. All that matting right there, that's been pulling at his skin. It's obviously bothered him. Look at that. See where it's a little red right there? That's definitely where he reacted. The, it's been pulling there for so long that it's actually red. It's probably itchy right there, so. Yeah, I'm gonna give him a nice bath afterwards. You see how by me trusting him and letting him bite me and doing going through whatever he had to go through and being, my being being calm and assertive, like season one wants to say calm and assertive, <clears throat> and he trusts me, he trusts my touch, he doesn't flinch when I touch him, you know, I can even, oh, out of nowhere, he doesn't flinch, you know, because we now have total trust for one another. And also I'm making him feel pretty good, I mean all these tangles and mats pulling out his skin, he knows that Whatever I'm doing, I'm getting rid of them and I'm making them feel better, so he appreciates that. Huh? Hold up the piece of hair again. This one? There we go. That was his that was his leg. It is <laughs> It's like, where does that piece go? <laughs> And that's what the fuss was about. Uh, shh, let's let him calm down. Shh, hey, hey. Calm down. Okay. But the fuss was about this right here. I don't know if you'll be able to see, but there's a few spots in there where it was really just, see that? It's kind of red. It was really pulling at the skin. Probably causing a lot of pain all along his tail here, so. Yeah, he's just gonna, shh, you're fine. You're all right, buddy. See? And the thing is, it's not like he's gonna bite me now, because I'm not doing, you know, they don't hold a grudge. It's not like he hates me or, you know, him trying to come and attack me or whatever. That's nothing personal, really. You know, they don't really do it out of, like, personal, any personal feelings towards you. They're just usually just trying to get you to stop doing what you're doing. <laughs> okay, so the head, we're just gonna find a safe spot to start, you know, where it's not really that matted, or get behind the mat that you see and just kind of pick a spot and continue to go back and then kind of pull the head forward so you stretch the skin
There we go. And, and you're not stretching any hair into the, pulling any hair into the clipper blades. And always go towards the edge of the ear. Never go this way. <clears throat> you're gonna clip the edge of the ear and make it bleed. So, always towards the outside of the ear. Now I can go away from the eyes. That way, less risk of an injury. Hey, okay. when you pull back like that, so you want to go away from the eye. Okay, stop there. Kind of pull the muzzle tight. Stop. See, that's not safe. No. I'm not trying to style him right now, I'm just trying to get these mats off before the bath. So. But I want to do it safely, you know, so in certain areas, I'll do it with the scissors just to keep him safe. Okay, let me lift this up a little bit so he has less range of motion, that way I can keep control of them a little better. Stop it. now is give up and feel sorry for him say oh he's a rescue shelter dog oh don't be so rough he, you know oh, whatever just love him no <clears throat> that is going to prevent him from getting over this you know we need to not feel sorry for him and just let him know this is something that needs to be done and it helps him grow as well see like that there we go a little bit of a protest there. Alright, we can do the rest with scissors. We already went over all this? Yeah. guys, we're back with the little white guy here, and he's all done with his bath, and we're finishing him up, and uh, he has an issue with smiling. He likes to smile, and show his teeth, and like that. <laughs> so, 
just wanted to show how to react to this type of behavior. You know, this is typical. You just want him to know that he can show his teeth and he can do whatever he needs, feels like he needs to do. We're going to stay calm, assertive, and it's going to get done. Put his tail. There we go. There we go. See? That's okay. If he does go after you, show his teeth, whatever, just stay calm. See? He's going to give up. And if, you, if it makes you feel safer, you can put a muzzle on him, you know, but you don't want him to feel like you're nervous or you don't trust him or anything. Hey, see? There we go. And we've already done this, but... <laughs> done this late, but I just want to, you know, show you that... As long as you don't react fearfully to that kind of... Hey, see? See, he's trying to bite. He just bit my hand, but... He didn't really clamp down, he just kind of put his teeth on there, you know? And as long as you understand what that behavior means, what he's trying to tell you... Get my thumb out of there before you... <laughs> Here's my thumb. Then, you know, usually it's no big deal and it's not going to be a stressful situation. See, and, and they, don't, they don't store it up. They don't remember it and say, you know what, next time his face comes by, I'm just going to snap. <laughs> they, don't take, they don't think about revenge or anything like that or they don't plot against you, so... You know, it's just at that moment, it's making him feel uncomfortable right there, see? He, he may try to bite right there. It's okay. But, you know, I just show him that, through your body language, you try to show him that you're not trying to, you know, do him any harm. And you're not, like I said earlier, you're not going to get that message across if you're nervous about it, or you're feeling frustrated, or angry, or upset. Hey, hey. Hey. No. <coughs>